to return, call to go, and far to fetch. To the Akan people, it was impetuous to go back and get what was taken. But as times evolved, people changed and the diaspora grew. It came to symbolize something, something new. Sankofa today, today means remembering, remembering our past, our past to, protect to protect our future. Now bear witness to the concept personified through fashion and music. Bear witness to Sankofa. Ain't got no shadows, no chains upon my feet. You send me free, good Lord, I bless. Oh, yes, I'm blessed. Ain't got no shadows, no chains upon my feet. You send me free, good Lord, I bless. Oh, yes, I'm blessed. So, uh, can I get your name, your school year, and then, like, your major? So I'm Rashid Peters, I am a junior and my major, I'm a business major and I minor in creativity to the arts and social transformation. My creative niche or where I feel most comfortable and alive creatively is like in creating experiences and like installations. That's something that I really thoroughly and purely enjoy. Uh, just like, I like being given like a concept or like a word or just like a random like far-fetched idea and being able to like create like a whole experience take that one thing let my ideas like run wild and just like create something around it so yeah i'm an installations guy so the last installation that i did was a buck ups <laughs> buck ups is jamaican for like a mistake like it wasn't supposed to happen but like it happened so it was the night for africa uh, fashion show. I was talking with the president uh, for the Brandeis African Student Organization and she was just like talking about like you know the different parts that go into like producing that show and she was like oh you should do it and I was like no nope but long story short like I ended up doing it so that's 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 that was my most recent uh, installation uh, so Sankofa was the theme uh, for this year's Night for Africa fashion show. San means to return, Ko means to go, and Fa means to take. So it basically in essence is saying it's like a theory or a principle or like a guiding belief that you should take from the past in order to build your future. The, the design of the, the different sections like in the installation themselves was like very specific and like, you know, intentional as well. Like you see in the sketches, like it was like a process of like <laughs> drawing, erasing, drawing, hating it. Like I have an entire other like iPhone, like separate from this one. That's just like my creative phone. So like anything that I see online that inspires me, like is on that iPhone. And whenever I have to like sketch or like come up with something, I just like scroll through that entire gallery and like find bits of inspiration. So like one night, I think at like 11, I got like sheets of paper. Uh, but yeah, so I had the songs playing in the background and then like I took each sheet and I pretty much like sketched each section, like how the, the models would be arranged, the props that we would need. In San, I was really inspired to have it close. Like, you know, it's a close knit, it's a king and a queen and their tribe and the queen mother is like presiding over them <clears throat> compared to the other two sections they're like really close together you know because they're, they're a family they're a village they're a tribe cause design i think i changed twice and then i ended up like settling on like the half a diamond and it's something that like i'm really glad about like how it came out uh and then fa fa is my is was probably like my favorite section by design i changed the design once so they're basically taking a group selfie but it's arranged in such a way that they're standing by height and the person who's like sitting at the front is like taking the selfie off like you know everyone behind and throughout you can see them like pausing and like smoldering and smizing because like with the rise of like social media we've become like so obsessed you know with like or image and like all of that so i really wanted to like portray that pretty much so yeah that was the inspiration between like the, the design and like the set for like each section 
So imagine it, it's completely dark. And then you hear very loud and very intrusive drums that seem to come from nowhere. And after that, a narrative was read. Sankofa today means remembering our past to protect our future. Uh, a very powerful narrative that I wrote, not even like being, you know, ego or whatever, but it, it, it was something that I wrote like so last minute but it came out so well no one spoke throughout the narrative which made it like even more cooler than the the intrusive like drums came again and that was done and then the lights came on for the show itself to start so we had red lights for san yellow lights for Cole, and green lights for Fa. once the lights came on the music was supposed to start but then the dj's program that he was using crashed so there was no music, so there was dead air for a while, and I showed it to like get people hyped up to like get rid of the awkward silence, which worked. Come on, bro. But the models were very professional. Everyone like held, you know their positions, no one like flinched or like hesitated, everyone was like ready and ready to go. But long story short, he started, music came up, first song played, it's a very traditional African song from Ghana, very very popular, it's, it's very like comical and exciting, it has a bit of French in it, so it's kind of cool. And then that was the cue for the models in San to walk. I had the intention of everyone in it to they seem like professional and like cohesive that one person was like and like the other person was like eh. you know it's like just like kept it like level after that section walk to the traditional section san we transitioned to call it was very specific in choosing these songs as well it took me like probably three or four days just like listening to african music i wanted to ensure that they communicated like the purpose of each section and then after that i wanted to also ensure that people could walk to it so that took a while but i'm really happy with like, the songs that i chose so cold song all of us was played they walked they did their thing and then transitioned to fa fa was the modern section uh fa's song was terry terry it sounds modern it's like upbeat it, it, it has like a dance to it like you know and they walked and did their thing so yeah afterwards the music stopped and then we played or closing song which is the coupe the coupe challenge dance uh, which was like really dope so like all the models that walked back up on stage and like everyone bowed and did their thing i had to do like a surprise like walk back which i hated i don't know i'm a creative person but you know sometimes because of that like it's really difficult for me to take credit like for my work uh but we thank god for good friends who push you outside of your comfort zone and who you know encourage you to like stand in front of the things that you do and like be proud of them so i'm really really grateful for that but i think one thing that i learned is to just like you know embrace it like being being creative is like it's 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 a big asset you know it it can change the lives of so many people in like ways that you probably didn't even like expect it's like you never know like what you can do or achieve or who you can touch just by like acting out your passions and your interests so never be ashamed or afraid you know to like employ your talents and like live them out because they're yours god gave them to you for a reason and nobody can say nothing about that at the end of the day that's a fact don't chat yeah <laughs>